Hey guys, it's Bubs. So today is going to be a Thai video. Um, I saw my really good friend, April Athena 7. Um, she did a Thai video called 13 Questions and I had a lot of fun watching her video and I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to do one as well because it's been a while since I did a Thai video. Um, okay, so let's get started. So the very first question is, what do you order at Starbucks? I know some people here are like, oh, you know, I'm cool for a Starbucks. But to be honest, I really don't care. Um, maybe because I'm not much of a coffee drinker or... I'm quite boring with what I drink. I just drink stuff like water and green tea. But if I really had to treat then I guess, I guess it will be a um, frappuccino or something. What is one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? Love to wear like spring dresses, anything that's like floral or um, free flowing. But if I really had to choose, it would actually be like cardigans. Um, just because like in Hong Kong, it's getting really, really warm. But air conditioning is like it's crazy, so um, I'm either like too cold or too warm. So cardigans are great because you can just put them into your your bag and just wear it whenever you feel a bit nippy. And I really like cardigans. I think cardigans have a very casual feel to them, and they can just um, dress down or up any outfit. What is one thing that most people probably don't know about you? <sighs> I'm gonna need like a beard or something. When I was little. Um, in a circus in front of like thousands of people. Um, I got bitten by a camel and it was pretty, um, it was, yeah, humiliating, but um, <sighs> yeah, that, that's one thing you want to do before you die. Okay, so this is going to sound cliche, but um, I would definitely want to go to Africa or a third world country and create a foundation that's going to help provide water, education, medication to children who are less fortunate than us. And I just know it's going to be a very eye-opening experience. It's going to be meaningful and it's something that I know I'll definitely do sometime in the future. The question is, what is one food you cannot live without? It's not obvious. Rice. So what quote or phrase do you live your life by? So I've had like many uh, quotes that I live by, but these days um, I have a new motto that I hope to stick with for the rest of my life, which is um, as long as he sees my heart. So um, if you guys don't know already, I am a Christian and sometimes it can be really difficult living your life by this quote because um, you can really get distracted by what other people think or say about you. So sometimes when I'm accused or people call me a liar, then I just tell myself like, oh, you know, as long as he sees my heart. And uh, it's kind of like how a lot of people say stuff like, how can you not care? How can you just let people walk over you? How can you just not respond? I guess like me saying that, it's so much easier to respond to negativity. I could respond to being bitter. I could respond just by being exactly like that person. But on the other hand, it's so much harder to just walk away. And for me, I think it takes so much more strength. What do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? So I love that I can learn everything absolutely everything on YouTube. So for example, a while ago I had a can of soup and I wanted to open it but I didn't have a can opener because I just moved into my apartment. So um, I browsed YouTube and it taught me how to open a can of soup with a cleaver, like a big muscle cleaver, which I don't recommend you guys to do because it's pretty dangerous. It taught me how to do car maneuvers such as like reverse around a corner, it taught me how to teach my dog little tricks. Um, it taught me loads of stuff, it's like college but free. But on the other hand, what I don't like about YouTube is, um, I guess it's pretty obvious, all the negativity, all the cyberbullying. But I guess it just comes in a package of YouTube and, you know, what can we really do about it? Next question is, what is your number one most listened song on iTunes? Next question is, what kind of style would you define yourself as having? Um, definitely cute casual. I'm not really a dressy dressy person. I like being comfortable. I don't like to look as if I make tons and tons of effort in how I dress. I guess I just wear whatever makes me happy. With my height, it's actually quite difficult for me to like wear a lot of clothes. Um, for example, I can't wear the big shoulder pads. In Hong Kong, girls wear big shoulder pads because it makes their waist look smaller. But, you know, I look weird wearing it because it makes me look even shorter. And I can't wear Harlem trousers. In Hong Kong, we call it um, what do we call it? We call it, um, I just prop myself pants because it bulges in your butt. Um, but I think they look nice, but I can't wear it because it makes my legs look like this long. Favorite number. So I'm going to go for number six because it's my birth date. I need two hobbies. I've actually always wanted to read, but I never had a time to. And I used to complain about being busy, but then I realized that I can't wait to be given time. I have to make time for myself. So um, for the past few weeks, I've been reading a lot. I'm really liking it. Books I've been reading are actually Christian books. I recently just finished this book called uh, Just Give Me Jesus. And I really, really enjoyed this book. And I've just started reading this book. They're all by the same author. Whether you're Christian or even if you're not, 
even if you're curious then, I would recommend um, this author, um, Anne Greenlots. This hobby would be to spend time with my puppy. Um, she's so cute, she's like a little polar bear. She's just like me because she's so clumsy. Hiya. Hiya. She's so clumsy and full of Question is two pet peeves. Um, I have a lot of pet peeves. One of the pet peeves I have honestly is uh my door must be shut. My closet doors must be shut. Um, nothing must hang off the doors. No tiles, no jeans, because um I get scared, especially when you're sleeping and it's dark and then you open your eyes and it looks sometimes it looks as if there's like a figure standing over there and that freaks me out. The reason I won't sleep with anything that hangs off the doors or closets. I won't sleep with the door opened and uh, I also sleep with my entire body tucked under the covers so no crocodiles could snap at my feet. <sighs> Second pet peeve that I have is uh, in Hong Kong especially, um, the beauty steals people. I'm, quite afraid of them because I'm so intimidated by them. Like you walk into the store hoping to find a moisturizer and like some lady she would come out like out of nowhere and it's like they're waiting to attack you. I mean they're trying to sell a product but they're also finding ways to put you down. They act as if like we don't know our own skin and what really annoys me um, is when people just assume that you don't take care of your skin just because you don't have perfect skin. The last question is to name a guilty pleasure. I just love to annoy people. It's just one of my treats. I love to annoy people, especially my brother. Every time I go back to UK, back home, when I wake up in the morning, I would run up to his room, I would pull off his blankets, I would slap his butt, I would mess up his room, I would stick my feet in his mouth, I would do everything to him to piss him off. And the more pissed off he is, the happier that I am. You're probably thinking, you know, Bugs, you're, you're a bit mad, but um, it runs in our family. We're all like this. Uh, we like to think ourselves as um, annoying but lovable, but it's not the case. Um, I'm even like this, even with my boyfriend, um, when he wants me to use those blackhead strips, when I peel it off his nose, I use tears rolling down and um, I just get really um, excited. Yeah, this is definitely messed up. Hope you guys enjoyed the randomness. Uh, definitely post a video response, I would love to see it and I shall speak to you soon. So, bye everyone! So before I end this video, just letting you guys know that I have an outfit of the day video on my vlog channel at Bubs Vlogs. And uh, so if you're interested in like, these type of videos, then definitely check it out. And I also recently uploaded a uh, video of myself re-dyeing my roots. So if you're interested in knowing what products I use and how I dye my hair, then um, check it out. Hey guys, it is I. It is I, Bubs.